Hey, what's going on guys? ZTA Prime back here again. Last week, I was sitting around thinking about videos I could do and I've never done a Raspberry Pi 3 kit review or unboxing. So today, I wanted to go ahead and get one out of the way. I ordered this on Amazon from Noza Tech. I usually get can of kits if I need the extra accessories, but I figured I'd go with something else this time. The kit I purchased was $49.99 and I'll leave links in the description if you're interested. Comes with a Pi 3, couple heat sinks, a 2.5 amp power supply, and a nice little black case. They also offer a clear case, but I wanted to get the black one. So there are tons of kits like this on Amazon and eBay. I just chose one at random and ordered it up. So everything looks pretty good. The only thing I have a concern about is the thermal paste for the heat sinks. This isn't like a thermal adhesive. This is a thermal paste. So I really like the little sticky pads. I know they might not work as well, but we're dealing with a small CPU, so I've never had a problem. Pulling the pie out of the box, as you can see, it comes in a little paper bag. This is from Element 14, the pie itself at least. I'm not sure where they got the case and the power supply. A lot of people have asked me about fake Raspberry Pis. Now, personally, I've never seen one. I have never seen a fake or clone Raspberry Pi. They're cheap enough as they are, so I don't know if a Chinese company could compete with making them that cheap and selling them that cheap. The one in this kit is definitely a real Pi 3. I ended up getting the cheapest kit they had. They did have more expensive ones that came with more stuff like an SD card and an SD card reader and things like that. But I have several SD cards that I use. You gotta be careful about SD cards online. Some of them ship with real Kingston. Some of them ship with fake clones of different cards. So I prefer using a real Samsung or a SanDisk SD card that I purchased from my local Walmart or Best Buy. The case this kit came with is really nice. It's not gonna win any awards or anything, but it's a really nice case for what it is. It's a three-part case, and as you can see, everything's labeled inside. No screws or anything to worry about. This fits right in here. There's a couple clips. You put the pie underneath, slap the bottom on, and then we'll put the top on it. I think it looks really nice for a cheap plastic Raspberry Pi case. The bottom has some ventilation holes, and the top actually has a little tiny gap to let some air out. It's not going to cool the pie like a fan or a giant heat sink, but it'll definitely get the job done. Overall, this is a really nice kit. If this is your first time purchasing a Raspberry Pi, you can go with something like this or get a Raspberry Pi and source everything yourself, but I find it a lot easier to just buy a kit. If you're unable to purchase a can of kit in your area, this is an awesome choice. That's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. I'm going to leave links to where I picked this up on Amazon down below. They do offer a black case, a clear case, and they also offer two other kits that come with extra stuff. This is a great kit for a first-time Raspberry Pi user, or if you're building something for a friend, you can go ahead and get one of these. Like always, thanks for watching.